Great, thanks. The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, everybody. I'd like to welcome you to our webinar today with Ryan. Ryan has been working exclusively in Microsoft Dynamics for many a year. And he's going to walk through us today with the blueprint for going paperless with Microsoft Dynamics NAV. He is from Equisys Zetadocs, and we at ABC Computers here work with him, know him well. So we're excited for this presentation. I also want to remind everyone that if you have any questions, feel free to type them into that question box, and I'll call them out to Ryan. Also, we are recording the webinar, which will be available later today on the ABC Computers website. And without further ado, I'll turn it over to you, Ryan. Great. Thanks, Abby. Can you hear me okay? Yep, we can hear you great. Great. So uh, thanks, everybody, for taking some time today to look at Zetadocs. Uh, look at the blueprint for going paperless with Microsoft Dynamics NAV. Uh, many of you have probably heard about Zetadocs in, in some capacity since uh, we've, reached, uh, we've reached an agreement with Microsoft to include pieces of it in Microsoft Dynamics NAV. And that's what I'm going to touch on today. Um, and if we, we have a look at, at what we're going to cover, I'm going to talk on, on a high level about Zetadocs for those of you who are not familiar with it, and then talk about building your document management foundation. Uh, which is Zetadocs Express, the, the piece that is uh, included starting with NAV 2009 R2 for all users of NAV. And that gives a really nice base framework for expanding uh, paperless office document management functionality throughout the enterprise. And, and I'll talk some about how to build that, uh, that scenario that meets your business's particular needs regarding document management. Uh, I'm going to do some demoing. I'll show Zetadocs some of the ways that it's typically deployed and then talk about some action items that everybody can take, uh, next steps to work with ABC to determine uh, which pieces of Zetadocs might benefit your organization and, and how to go about uh, getting them in place. So let's start out with our introduction for those of you who are not familiar with Zetadocs. Zetadocs is a end-to-end -end document management document distribution solution specifically built for Microsoft Dynamics NAV. Uh, Zetadocs does not work with any other ERP solution. It is NAV only and it's, it's, you'll see in the demo every part of Zetadocs is actually baked right into the NAV client to give a single user experience uh, right from NAV. And it, it touches all areas of document management that most of you are familiar with. Uh, everything from scanning documentation, uh, to searching and retrieving documentation, launching workflows, and then um, distributing documentation, things like electronic invoicing and, and sending statements and things like that via email and streamlining that process. Uh, so I'm going to touch on some of these today. Hopefully I give everybody a good idea of what's out there, what's available. Um, and in the interest of, of giving a general overview of Zetadocs before we continue, uh, we've got this diagram and, and it shows some of the some of the workflows. So taking scan documents or email documents or fax documents that come into an organization through all different methods. These could be in vendor invoices or customer POs or shipping documentation. Zetadocs can handle all of these documents and put them on screen for the NAV user in a relevant context inside the transaction or inside the proper vendor card or, or customer card. And I'm going to cover some of the ways that that happens when we do the demonstration. So it stores all these documents out to SharePoint or out to a file folder under network folder. Either way, it doesn't it doesn't matter either place that you want to store them. And NAV users can then access the documents straight from the NAV transactions. Likewise, non-NAV users can access documentation straight from SharePoint, whether that's an on-premise SharePoint implementation or a cloud SharePoint implementation using Office 365, which is a great set of cloud services offered by Microsoft. Um, so what this does is it, it gets the right documents in front of the right people you know, at the right time when they need them so that they can then uh, make relevant decisions based on what they see. So there are, there are several 
benefits of document management. There are a lot of reasons that companies look at it, but really what we've boiled it down to are, are three main tenants. Nearest and dearest to everybody's heart, reducing costs. Uh, when, when it comes to um, removing paper from the equation, reducing consumables costs and storage costs, uh, when it comes to something like invoicing and, and instead of uh, sending paper copies through the mail, instead we're now doing a batch email of those and, and archiving them electronically. There's a tremendous amount of hard cost savings in eliminating all of those consumables, paper, ink, toner, postage, and then of course the time that it takes, and that's where really enhancing business processes comes into play. So, um, you know, freeing up the time for, for whoever's doing the invoicing now, and maybe they're spending several hours a week on it, freeing up that time to do other more productive tasks, um, removing the, the time required to file and retrieve documentation. And that really leads into the, the next tenant, which is improving the level of customer service that you're able to offer to your customers. Um, imagine having all documentation right inside of NAV, inside of a sales transaction. When that customer calls up, uh, instead of putting them on hold and going to a paper filing cabinet to retrieve supporting documentation and unstapling it and scanning it and emailing it and then refiling it and then walking back to our desk, having this information readily retrievable on screen, not only does it save your employee time, not only does it streamline your, your team and, and, and allow people to, to work more efficiently, but it also provides a much higher level of customer service. Since you can answer the question quickly, you can provide supporting documentation instantaneously. And that works on the purchasing side as well when we're dealing with, with vendors. And then the third main tenant, more and more there are green initiatives out there in, in, in corporate America and, and, you know, reducing carbon footprint, being ecologically friendly, document management's at the, at the forefront of any initiative to do that kind of thing, to, to remove paper from the equation, to reduce carbon footprint and carbon emissions, certainly something that uh, the paperless office is, is designed to solve. So a little bit more about Zetadocs before we get into more detail. Uh, I mentioned a partnership with Microsoft. Of course, we're a Microsoft Gold certified partner. Uh, and you can see on the right side there, we're certified for Microsoft Dynamics NAV, including NAV 2015. And that's important for those of you who, who are not familiar with what certified for Microsoft Dynamics NAV means. And you might have seen that out there in the marketplace. And you wonder, well, what actually goes into that? That means that. Our software has met strict testing and certification requirements from Microsoft. They've, had, they've done hands-on testing. They've gotten five gold NAV partner recommendations and at least 10 customer recommendations uh, from people that use our software. So what it does is it gives the seal of approval that the solution you're buying or deploying in your organization is designed to work with Microsoft Dynamics NAV and does indeed do that. So our partnership with Microsoft extends to Zetadocs Express, uh, which is, was part of NAV licensing starting with NAV 2009 R2 and going forward. Now don't let this confuse the, the compatibility of Zetadocs. It is compatible back to an NAV 3.7 database uh, classic client as well. It's just that the Zetadocs Express functionality is, is free with NAV 2009 R2 and later, as long as you're on the role tailored client. And this has been downloaded over 4,000 times so far, a very popular add-on for NAV. And I'm going to talk some about Zetadocs Express as being um, the, the foundation level of, of our, our building uh, of a paperless office. It can go in for every user. There's no licensing cost. And it gives a nice solid footing uh, from where to start your, your document management journey. So Zetadocs is modular, and you'll see that there are a set of building blocks that can be added onto this Zetadocs Express Foundation to provide advanced functionality where it's needed in the organization. And, and the remainder of your users can maintain Zetadocs Express. So we work in all over, all over the, the place in terms of vertical markets. Over 700 installations of the full Zetadocs for NAV product line in everywhere from the service sector to, of, of course, uh, manufacturing and distribution, which are which are key uh, for Microsoft Dynamics NAV. 
So the bottom line that we're trying to solve is what you see here, stacks of paper, inefficient processes, unnecessary costs. And uh, you can see a quote there from Steve Farr uh, suggesting that everybody that, that has NAV has a look at Zetadox. So moving along, let's talk about Zetadox Express, the foundation of Zetadox. You know, what does Zetadox Express give me at no additional cost? So as I mentioned, Zetalox Express is included at no additional cost with NAV 2009 R2, NAV 2013, 2013 R2, and more recently NAV 2015. And we were actually one of the first uh, ISV partners to achieve certification for NAV 2015. So anybody that has one of these versions of NAV, if you're on the Rural Tailored Client, can download Zetalox Express for free. And ABC will have to set it up for you. They, they do a great job of it. ABC is a fantastic organization, and they've got a really strong knowledge of not only NAP, but also Ryan, I just lost your audio. Are you able to hear me? I am still able to hear there you. There we go. Can you not? Now okay. I can hear you. Sorry about that glitch, guys. No, thanks. How long did you lose it for, Abby? Maybe 15 seconds. Got it. So I'll, I'll start at the beginning of this slide again then. Uh, thanks for letting me know. Feel free to do that again. So I'm not sure what happened. So Zetadox Express, you can go download it now at zetadox.com. Have ABC set it up for you. They, they know exactly what they're doing with Zetadox. Um, professional not only in NAV but in Zetadox as well and uh, there's these downloads are available from customer source or, or just go to Zetadox.com so with that I'm going to get into a demo and I'm going to show what Zetadox Express includes in terms of functionality very simple really two things that I'm going to cover which is are the save and send capability of Zetadox Express and the drag and drop archival of Zetadox Express so hopefully everybody can see my NAV screen now. I, actually, let me put it on the right. Just bear with me for one moment. So hopefully everybody can see my NAV screen now. I'm in NAV. 2013 R2. Uh, functionality across all the NAV versions is identical in Zetadox. Whether you have uh, really any version of the Roll Tailored Client forward, it's going to look similar to this. All the functionality that I'm going to show is available in the Classic Client. Uh, what I'm going to cover here with Zetadox Express is free with, with the newer versions of NAV, but on the Classic Client it can be purchased. So Zetadox Express, there, there are really two main things that it does. And I mentioned the save and send and the drag and drop archival. So a good place to illustrate this is in a purchase order. I'm in a, I've just created a PO for Coolwood Technologies. And I'm ready to send this PO off to my vendor. So with Zetadox Express, I'm going to have the ability to do a save and send of this PO, which is going to PDF my PO. It's going to automatically open up an Outlook email and attach it to that email. It's going to complete the subject line and it's going to automatically address it. So this is as a, uh, opposed to PDFing it manually, opening an email manually and attaching it. So not only is it going to do that, but it's going to save a copy here into my Zetadox fact box on the right side so that I can start to move towards that paperless office. And you know everybody keeps copies of POs that they send their vendors. Typically that's happening in a paper format. This enables us to move uh, that process to a paperless environment. So if I click Save and Send, what Zetalox is going to do is PDF that report. As you can see here, it's going to populate the subject line automatically with a document type and a record number, my PO number. And it's going to address it with the default address on the vendor card. If this was a sales document, it would go to the customer card. Now, Zetadox delivery has more capabilities, the upgraded modules, to do things like automatically complete the email body, 
and do batches of documents at once. But for now, not to confuse things, we're showing Zetalox Express. So this is uh, the delivery functionality that it has. Now, once that email is sent, you'll notice a copy of that PO is available here. So when I come in and click on the purchase order, I can view a copy of it. And that's, that's important as we move along because we're going to have ways to archive all of our documentation and eliminate that paper storage and then make everything retrievable across the enterprise. So I've sent my PO off to my vendor, and I'm, I'm just a Zetalox Express user. Now I get an invoice back in from my vendor via email. I can take that invoice from the email attachment and do a drag and drop where it says, is drag files here in my fact box and archive that document right into my document management system. So that's important. I'm starting to build an audit trail. I've got my PO. I've got the invoice that the vendor sent me. I could do the same thing with shipping documentation, whether it was part of an email attachment or if it was a, a file out of my network somewhere. So not only can I drag and drop the attachment, but if I wanted to include the email body itself, because it had pertinent information in it. I can very easily do that by dragging and dropping the email itself right onto the record and saving a copy of that email file, the .msg file extension that you see here, saving that into my document management system just like it were a PDF or a Word document or Excel. And the importance there is I can delete it from Outlook and still come right in uh, to my transaction and open it up reply or forward or do anything I want. And that's because I don't need to have it stored in Exchange anymore. I can store the file itself into Zetadocs so that I can view the email body or the attachment at any time. And now it's important to understand that as I attach things to this purchase order, when I post the purchase order and it becomes a posted purchase invoice, a posted purchase receipt, all of this documentation is going to travel along to those posted transactions. Um, so that I have a permanent solution for document management. And that's really what Zetalox Express does, the save and send, as well as the drag and drop archival. And it gives me a way to start storing documentation electronically and not having to access paper filing cabinets anymore. Um, the more advanced versions of Zetalox, which we'll cover in, in just a few minutes, build on top of this functionality for users that need a little bit more capability. So I will go ahead and switch back. So if there are any questions uh, that pop into the Q&A pane, Abby, feel free to, to ask. Otherwise, we're going to handle all of our Q&A at the end. Uh, so feel free to, to put questions into your Q&A pane or to um, just save them up for the end, and, and we'll answer them all. We're going to have a, a Q&A session at the end. So moving along, we've got our foundation, Zetalox Express, and, and that can be deployed for all users in your organization. There's no cost there. Uh, every, you already have the licensing if you're on any V2009, R2, or greater role tailored client. Uh, and if you want to drag and drop archival like I just showed for the classic client, it's available. It's just something that has to be purchased, which, I, which I'm going to cover here in the next slide. So building on Zetadox Express. Here's a look at the Zetadox building blocks, so to speak, all of our different solutions. So Zetadox Express, you can see the big blue block at the bottom there. It's a foundation level. And the way that this works is maybe some of your users require additional functionality. Maybe there are people in the AR team that need to be able to do batch invoice delivery uh, with, uh, or, or batch customer statement delivery via email and, and hard copy and fax. Well, the Zetadox delivery modules add to the capability that I showed with the save and send feature in Zetalox Express and so that your, your users that need that can upgrade and, and get that functionality on a named user basis. Uh, on the other side of the coin, when we have the drag and drop archival, there may be more of a requirement on the document management side, maybe scanning paper documents. Maybe somebody wants to be able to scan a stack of vendor invoices in and have them automatically attached to the appropriate place as opposed to dragging and dropping each one. And that's where the Zetalox capture modules come in. 
Capture Essentials and Capture Plus. Um, so just to be clear here, a, an organization would need only Delivery Essentials or Delivery Plus, Capture Essentials or Capture Plus, because the Plus editions contain everything that the Essentials editions do. It's just a matter of what the requirements are as to which module would be required. And that's what I'm going to cover in the following demos, you know, how to add on that foundation of Zetadox Express. And then Payables Approval. This is a cloud service that allows users to manage AP approvals through an, uh, an internet site um, to approve POs, to send to a vendor, or to approve vendor invoices uh, for payment. And I'll cover that as well. So these, those are the modules, the software modules themselves. So, so what are they used for? What are these building blocks used for? Well, you see some of the, the uh, applications of, of those modules here, some of the more popular ones. I've mentioned electronic invoicing, which is one of our most popular uses for ZetaDocs. And we're going to cover really four of these key, uh, uh, key aspects in the demo. Uh, electronic invoicing, certainly uh, something that a lot of NAD users have a need for, people that are, are printing and mailing invoices or manually mailing, manually emailing invoices one by one. Tremendous amount of cost and, and lack of productivity there in that process. Um, we're going to cover proof of delivery tracking, which is essentially um, barcoding your shipping documents, your bill of lading documents. Uh, when they go out to get a signature and come back, you could scan the whole stack of them into ZetaDocs and have them archived to the appropriate place. Very useful solution where, where there's a requirement there. Supplier invoice processing. This one is, is extremely popular as well. Most organizations that I speak with when they're talking about document management, AP is the first place they're talking about. How do I deal with my vendor invoices? How do I, how do I archive my paper documents and, and launch approval processes? And that's something that we're going to cover with AP approval and with supplier invoice processing uh, as we do our demo here. And after the demo, I'm going to talk some about some questions that you can ask to, de to start determining you know, which, of, which of these areas you know, are, are problems for your organization and, and what modules of ZDOX might you need to look at. And ABC and or myself are glad to have that conversation with you after the demo. If you'd like to, feel free to reach out directly and, and, and we'll be glad to talk through your questions with you. So we're going to move on to a, to a more full-fledged demo of some of the ZDOX solutions that we saw on the last page. Uh, particularly the ones that were highlighted. Uh, the one, ones we're going to cover mostly supplier invoice processing, AP approval, electronic invoicing. So let's start with electronic invoicing. I think it's very simple to show uh, the difference between save and send, which sends a single document as a PDF attached to an email like I showed in the last demo. Well, when it comes to something like invoicing or customer statements, uh, typically there's a requirement there to send these as a single batch in just a few clicks. Uh, sending them one by one is too time consuming. There's also a requirement typically to automatically complete the email body. And both of these things are things that Zetalox Delivery Essentials can accommodate. Delivery Essentials is very easy uh, to implement uh, it's, it's got a lot of value, and, and most organizations that are doing manual invoicing can have a very strong return on this in a short period of time. So how do we send invoices with ZetaDocs? Well, as, as a little bit of background, ZetaDocs rules can be set up in the system to determine how your invoices are sent, who they're sent to, what the email body should say, etc. And those can be set up on a system-wide level and then also on a company-specific level. So that once I've got everything set up, the process of sending invoices is very simple. I'm going to use my print driver just as if I was going to send these off to a printer to print hard copies out. But with Datadocs, some of my invoices may be going out as emails. Some may be going out as hard copies for customers that still require that. I can do that all as a single batch. And what I'm going to do is select the invoices that I want to send. I'm going to do this based on an invoice number. But what we're really doing here is just using our NAB print filters, which most of you are familiar with, to determine which items I want to send. 
With invoices, it's probably most common to use posting date to send out today's invoices. I'm going to use invoice number uh, since I'm in a demo system. I haven't posted anything today, so to speak. So I'm going to print these invoices, but instead of sending them to my RICO machine, I'm going to send them to Zetadoc's PDF. And when I do that, in practice, all of my invoices could be gone. My emails would have gone out through Outlook. My hard copies would print to a printer. It's that easy. I've got a preview screen set to pop up here, which can be toggled on or off. It's, it's up to the organization. And some, some organizations like to have it at first to make sure everything is going out in the proper way, and then they'll turn it off. Very easy to turn off or on. And the preview screen is going to tell me which invoices are about to go out, who they're going to, what the company is, what the delivery method is. Mine are all email here, but they could just as easily be fax or hard copy. And then it's telling me what template is being applied. Uh, and the templates, these basically are, are completing my email body, dynamically pulling data from NAV to personalize each email, uh, adding attachments onto my email, like a terms and conditions or a marketing material, and um, even adding an overlay, like a stationary or a letterhead onto my report uh, as a substitute for doing report modifications and adding graphics. So if I release this batch now, all my invoices are gone. Now, like I said, I wouldn't have even had to do that if I didn't want to. I simply could have printed them to Zetalox and sent them out. So this is a tremendous amount of time savings, typically, compared to what most organizations do when they're sending invoices out. So let me have a look at my Outlook. I'll open it up a little wider for everybody and show what these invoices are going to look like for your customer. Well, this is an example of what they might look like. We've got our invoice attached to an email. We can, we can view it here if we want. It's going to be a PDF. We've got a Zetadox overlay on our invoice report. Um, that could be something that, uh, that you add if you'd like to, not required. And we've also got a conditions of sale document automatically being attached to our invoices. This is powerful because it gives a consistent look and feel and a standard to our invoices without any additional work by your invoicing team. You'll notice also that the email body has been automatically populated. And it's not just a static email that's going to be the same for everybody. You'll notice everybody's got their own contact name and invoice number and company name in the subject line. And this can be configured very easily on the user level for how, how you want the email to look. Very easy to add HTML email signatures, pull different types of data from NAV, and uh, to, to personalize this to look exactly how you'd like to. So Zetadox delivery is not just for invoices. It's, it's commonly used for that, but this type of, of delivery can be used for credit memos or statements, any type of NAV report. Purchase orders are, are a common one that are, that, that are sent frequently, order confirmations. And, and not only does Zetadocs give you a streamlined way to send these documents out, but in the spirit of going paperless, typically organizations even that, that email invoices, they're printing hard copies and they're saving them in filing cabinets. And what Zetadocs does, of course, is it allows us to archive these documents as they're being emailed so that they're archived into our secure document repository, they're indexed with data from NAV, and they're then permanently accessible so that uh, anybody who needs to retrieve them can do that. So when this customer calls in with a question, we've got their original purchase order email that they sent us, and we can click on it and view it. We've got an order confirmation that we sent them using Zetadoc's delivery. We've got another email that was sent here. Uh, we've got an invoice that we just sent them as well. So none of this has to be stored as paper anymore. And that's important for not only for retrieval, uh, the streamlining of filing and retrieval, it's also good because it, it gives us disaster recovery. All of this documentation is backed up electronically, and it's secure so that only the people that are supposed to have access to it will have access to it. And that's Zetadoc's delivery commonly used for electronic invoicing uh, in a nutshell. So if we wanted to customize how a particular customer received documents, that's very easy to do. It's all built right into NAV. You know, that's a theme with Zetadoc. So if I wanted to change how 
one of these customers got their invoices, I could simply go into their customer card without leaving NAV. I can go into uh, one of their, you know, this is in different places depending on what version of NAV you have. In this particular version, in the customer card, in my actions tab for my customer card, I'll open this up a little wider. I've got Zetadoc's rules right here, and I can click on that, and I could say, well, let's create a, a, an invoicing rule for John Haddock Insurance, and that might include some additional recipients, like carbon copy recipients or blind carbon copy recipients, or maybe their delivery method instead of email goes as a hard copy. Uh, first, it's yelling at me because I first have to tell them what document set I'm working with, and we're, we're going to create this rule for sales invoices. And then what we're going to say is for all sales invoices for John Haddock Insurance, they're going to go to a hard copy print to our printer and click OK. Next time I do a batch now, John Haddock's insurance are going to, in, invoices are going to print out. So it's a very nice streamlined method for archiving um, sent invoices and also for sending them. So hopefully there are some questions queuing up. You know, write them down and ask them at the end, or, or type them in the Q and A pane, and, and, and we'll uh, we'll answer them as we go. So before we do, before we do that, let me talk about Zetadoc's capture and and how those building blocks may or may not fit into the organization. So I'll go into my purchasing department for this, and and it's important to keep in mind that Zetadoc's can really be applied anywhere throughout NAV not just in the places that I'm sending. So maybe I get a purchase invoice in from one of my vendors, and I've used Zetadocs. Uh, we'll create a new invoice here. And I, I'll put in some basic information. Most people know how to do this. Just take a second. Uh, but it'll help me to illustrate how we might use some of the other um, capture functionality. So. With Zetadocs, I create my, uh, I get an invoice in from my vendor. I'll open this up a little wider, and I'm going to come in and create that purchase invoice for them. I'll put a vendor invoice number in and a line item, and I'll go back and approve this invoice in, in just a few minutes, so you can see how that part fits in. So I've got all the information I need, and maybe I've used Zetadocs Express. Uh, to archive an invoice that came in from the vendor. And you could do that with a simple drag and drop. So Zetadoc's Capture Essentials builds on that by, number one, giving drag and drop capability to classic client users who, who can't get Zetadoc's Express. That's a big use for Capture Essentials. And it also gives me some additional options to do archival. These buttons that appear in the fact box are part of Capture Essentials. So what I could do is I could browse to a, a network location and, and import a document. Um, just pick one out of here. Or I could use the scan document button, which you see right next to that button, to put a document onto a locally attached scanner. And this is for scanners that are, are locally attached to the computer. I put the invoice on the scanner. I click this button, and I import it in just as if I had drag and dropped it. It's just a different process uh, that Capture Essentials gives me to add some additional capabilities. So beyond that, Capture Essentials gives your organization the basic Zetadocs document queues, which are at the core of document management with Zetadocs. These document queues, think of them as inboxes for documentation that require some type of archival. At the end of the day, they're going to accomplish the same thing that drag and drop does or that using a local scanner does. It's just a different process. So with Capture Essentials, your organization will get the, the top two document queues here, sales and purchasing. And we, we refer to these as attended document queues. Because what, what the process is like is you're going to have somebody monitoring these. So let's say your purchase document queue, for instance. You would have an AP person monitoring the purchase document queue. And users could be adding documents to this queue by scanning them or saving them or dragging and dropping them into a network folder. And this is very useful for distributed organizations that might have remote locations or departments that are physically separated from accounting. Instead of physically moving documents around, they can just add them to a network folder and they'll then appear for the accounts payable team. 
So let's take this packing slip, for instance, and we can have a look at, at what it is, of course, view it. And then what we can do with Capture Essentials with the attended document queue is to choose to archive that and choose where it goes. So let's link it out to the same invoice that we just created. I'll, I'll click OK. And we'll choose Custom Metals Incorporated here. And click OK. So what I've done is it's telling me a copy of that document has been successfully stored in the archive. Do you want to remove the document from the queue and delete the file? Click yes and move on to the next document. And you know maybe this document uh, belongs to a purchase order. I could go link it to an existing purchase order or link it to a posted transaction or create a new invoice or create a new order. And, and these are all options with Capture Essentials. So what this is doing, if you can imagine, it's, it's, it's digitizing the inbox. It's making it very easy for your organization to get documents in front of your AP team or in front of your sales processing team uh, so that orders can be placed and so that you know vendor documentation can be properly handled. And this is called an attended document queue because you can see somebody has to go through and, and tell Zetalox where to put the document. Now, if we have a look at Capture Plus, which involves some automation in this process, and I'll do that. I'll go back into my purchasing department here. And let's take one of these invoices, for example. I get my invoice in from my vendor. So I could, I already have options with Zetadocs, right? I could, I could scan it and drag and drop it if I only get a couple of these a day. I could use a Capture Essentials attended document queue like I just showed if I have a distributed organization or, or maybe you know, a, a moderate amount of invoices. If I have a lot of paper invoices, the easiest way to do it and the most popular is using our barcoding solution with Capture Plus so that uh, we get our invoice in from our vendor. We could come into the transaction, whether it's a sales transaction or a vendor card or a purchasing transaction, and we print a barcode using this button. And what this barcode does is it will automatically link any document that it's applied to back to this transaction. And this is going to print out to a small footprint label printer, inexpensive, easy to maintain piece of equipment. This is a very popular solution with, with Zetadocs. The, the barcode goes right onto the document, and then the documents can be all scanned at once into a centralized network scanner, and Zetadocs will then separate each file and create a link automatically to the appropriate NAV transaction. And what this allows me to do is to have a document queue, because what I've done is I've scanned those into a Capture Plus document queue, and if I look at my document queue for vendor invoices here, you could see all these documents already have links. Zetadocs knows where they all belong. And I can simply click Archive All Linked Items. It will go out and it will file everything electronically. We have customers that archive hundreds or thousands of pages of documentation like this each day. Um, up to a million documents a month is, is the highest document limit that, that our customers have. Uh, this is also, I'd say, more popular for for uh, invoicing numbers anywhere from 20 on up in a given day. And you can see all those documents were filed automatically and electronically. So what I've got here is I've got a couple different ways to file documentation. And if I go back and, and, and look at my document queue, you'll notice that I also have a shipping document document queue. And this is the same concept with the barcoding. The difference here is that these are documents that originated in one of my systems, either NAV or another proprietary system. And what I've done is I've automatically put a barcode onto the, to the document. So if this was a bill of lading or, or a shipping confirmation or a work order, I can, I can apply that barcode when I print the report it goes out and it gets a signature from one of the customers or from gets marked up in the warehouse. I can then take those back and scan them all in to my network scanner just like the invoices that I applied the barcode stickers to. It's a great way to archive bill of lading, shipping documentation, work order documentation that's got signatures on it and that's come back into my, my enterprise so that I don't have to stick this stuff in paper filing cabinets and I don't have to go retrieve it from there next time I need it. 
So all of this gives me a great way to, you know, di several different ways to archive documentation against a transaction. And I can do that uh, in the unposted stage or in the posted stage. So when it comes time to approve a document or to approve a transaction, I can use Zetadoc's approval, which will circulate a subset of data from my NAV along with all my supporting documentation, and it will make that available in an internet-based system so that my approvers can access it from anywhere, from outside the office, la tablet, laptop, cell phone, whether they're NAV users or not. So I'm in the approval initiator role right here where I have launched an approval and I'm ready to send it off. Zetadoc's rules can be set up to determine who the approvers are based on vendor or purchaser code or any other parameter in NAV. Additional approvers can be added uh, with hierarchies to, you know, driven by dollar volumes and approval limits. And if I'm happy with this, I could put a comment in, click start approval, and send this approval off to Charles Smith. So as the approval initiator, I've just electronically replicated uh, what would be done by taking a stack of paper and putting it on Charles' desk, assuming that he's in the office. You know, even if he's not there, he's going to get this. And you can see this custom metals line item here in my outstanding approvals. So as the approval initiator, I've got this dashboard where I can monitor everything that's outstanding or overdue or approved, rejected. And this gives me a window into my entire approval world. So that I can manage everything on screen um, in one place. Now if I go over to Google Chrome where I'm logged in as Charles, he could come in and he could go in to one of his approvals and or he could log straight into the approvals website. So I'm going to go into approvals.zadadocs.com and this is a simple Microsoft account authentication so that Charles, who I'm already signed in in Outlook, he can come right, he right here and sign in and he can get access to all of the approvals in his world. And uh, these buttons, they're, they're nice and, and touch optimized for use with tablets or phones. Uh, he can manage what's overdue, what's outstanding, what, is, what his outstanding tasks are. And this gives him a window to see everything that needs to be done. And you can see down here at the bottom his most recent task uh, for Custom Metals Incorporated to approve this invoice. And he can go in and manage this approval um, very easily. He can see all the supporting documentation just by clicking on it. He can read the approval history. He can look at data from NAV, even though he's not an NAV user and he can choose to approve or reject this. So in a nutshell, that's the approval solution. You know, I don't want to spend too much more time going into detail on it, but we're glad to do a demo on anything that, you, that you've seen today in more detail and in a more personalized way uh, to accommodate maybe your organization's particular needs. So with that, I'm going to go back and, and do a few more slides and open this up for Q&A while we have time. So we talked about vendor invoices, purchase orders, sales invoices, order confirmations. But these are just examples of what can, you know, the most popular uses of Zetadocs. Any type of documentation that needs to be linked to an NAV transaction in some way or something like a vendor contract out to a vendor card or an item drawing or an item spec sheet out to an item card. Uh, contracts, employee documentation, pricing documents. All of these are great examples for things that can be streamlined with Zetadocs and can be integrated into the document management system. So you'll see here some quotes from some of our customers and, and after we look at this we're going to talk about some of the more specific things that you can do to, to journey down the Zetadocs path. But it's important to see here that sometimes it's hard cost that, that drives Zadlock's decisions. You know, saving 
a certain amount of money uh, on postage and, and, and ink and toner and paper. But also, if you look in the middle here, streamlining two working hours a day with ZetaDots equates to one week per month. That's a tremendous amount of productivity gain that could be allocated elsewhere. Uh, a lot of case studies on our website, equisys.com, very useful um, for, for reading about how other organizations utilize ZetaDox for NAD. So what has to be done next? You know, what are your action steps as an NAD user to help map out your blueprint for ZetaDox for a paperless office? And you know, ABC is right there to help you along the way. But it's going to boil down to what does your business need? What are your particular requirements? Is invoicing at the, at the forefront? Is um, you know, consolidation of a customer service team? We recently worked with an AB customer, ABC customer on, on that to get all of their customer service documents centrally archived. And this is a project that's ongoing uh, because they're moving customer service from remote locations all to a central location. And of course, those CSRs need access to documentation, which is what Zadox is providing. Those are those are examples of of how um, how Zadox can be deployed. But it's going to boil down to your organization. And feel free to set up a call with ABC and or myself, and, and we're glad to talk through that with you. Uh, on a high level, what questions sh should you be asking yourself right now? How do we invoice? How do we send statements out? Are there any other type of documentation that we're spending a lot of time and or money on? Um, how do you handle filing documents? Do you have somebody spending a lot of their day um, you know, stuffing envelopes or, or stuffing documents into a paper filing cabinet? And then one that's overlooked and it's an ongoing return is, how often do you have to access that paper documentation? And how is it being done? Typically, there's a, a dramatic amount of time that's being spent uh, you know, finding that documentation and refiling it. There's a tremendous amount of risk involved that it doesn't get refiled correctly, that it gets lost or stuffed in a, in a briefcase and taken home, or that the wrong person has access to it. Putting everything electronically, you know, streamlines that and mitigates all that risk. And then what's your approval process? How are you managing AP approvals right now? Are bottlenecks hurting vendor relationships? Are, are your invoices getting paid on time? Uh, are your POs getting approved on time so that they can be sent to vendors to, to fulfill uh, requirements? These are all questions that can be asked and that we're glad to help talk through. And then, you know, what happens after that? Downloading Zadilox Express is, is as easy as it comes. For, for anybody that's got any V2009 R2 or greater, as long as you're on the roll tailored client, you can go download Zadilox Express at no additional cost, talk to ABC about where you want it in NAV. Do you want to have that document window uh, in, in all your sales transactions so you can drag and drop customer POs in your AP transactions so you can, so you can archive vendor invoices? Um, what about maybe on the customer card or vendor card to archive contracts? And then, you know, from there, going through the building blocks, the different modules of ZetaDocs, which we're glad to help with, there's all, there are also some great videos on our website, equisys.com. Zetadocs.com is, a, is a, another site that you can go to um, to find uh, videos on our solutions that can help you determine what modules may be important for you. And then ABC, they're pros with Zetadocs. They can install Express and the Snap. Um, they've done all the different Zetadocs modules several times, and they can certainly, uh, from a technical standpoint, um, you know, install Zetadocs Express and any other upgrades that you, that you may need. So. That's kind of the layout, you know, express, find out what, what you need in terms of advanced modules and, and add it to your upgrade quote or, or even buy it as an add-on to your existing NAD system. So with that, I wanted to save 10 minutes here for Q&A. Hopefully we've done that. Um, Abby, do you have any questions in the Q&A? I do. First question is, what are the main differences between Delivery Essentials and the Delivery Plus versions? Fantastic question. I didn't touch much on that, just time constraints, but there are two main things to consider. Number one is, if you need fax delivery, ZetaFax uh, Zeta is a network fax solution that we have developed. We've been selling it for 30 years. You get a ZetaFax server 
license, which is a fully functioning network fax server with Delivery Plus. That enables you to do integrated fax delivery. Maybe if some of your customers require faxed invoices or um, you know, some of your vendors require faxed POs, that could be accommodated very easily. Also, inbound faxes are accommodated with that. If you wanted to set up the fax server to bring documentation directly into one of those document queues, maybe you receive faxed customer POs. Uh, that fax server enables all of that to be done. Uh, the other main difference is uh, the, the delivery customization capability. So that if you have some particular business logic that needed to be uh, you know, included in your delivery process. So let's say, for example, you wanted to include the terms and conditions like I showed uh, in my demo. That's a static document. It's the same document for every invoice. That can be done with Delivery Essentials very easily. Now, if you wanted to include, let's say, a different uh, item spec sheet depending on what line items were in the invoice, that requires business logic to be developed to, do, uh, to go find the appropriate documentation. Maybe you want to include the signed bill of lading or, or the signed work order with an invoice. You know, that's going to be different for each customer. So that's where Delivery Plus comes in is adding that additional customization capability. You know, maybe you could carbon copy your CFO on all invoices with Delivery Essentials, but if you wanted to carbon copy your CFO on all invoices that exceeded $50,000, some kind of if-then statement like that, you would need Delivery Plus for that. So the, the delivery SDK and the fax server, those are the main two differences. Okay, the next question is, how well does this play with the web version of NAV? So we've already integrated to the web client um, to add, uh, to give Zdocs viewing capability and touch and choose capability, which mimics drag and drop. So that's, that's already in the web client. And the delivery capabilities will be in the web client in our next release within a month or two. Um, the bottom line is all of this functionality by the end of the year will be in the web client. Uh, a, a good portion of it already is. Another good portion of it will be coming very soon. And then um, the final portion, which would be accessing the document queues from the web client, that'll come, that'll come later. Uh, but certainly uh, web client compatibility uh, is is partially here already and, and fully on the way very soon. Next question is, can barcodes be attached to documents electronically so they do not have to be stuck to the paper? Sure. No question about it. It just depends on the process for getting that done. So I, we, I spoke to a company yesterday who they generate their bill of lading from an outside system outside of NAV. So they're, basically all they have to do is, you know, they want to scan them back in as a batch and have them attached to their sales orders. Well, what they're going to do is use that, you know, in that proprietary system, they're going to now put their sales order number on the bill of lading, and that's enough for Zetadocs for them to scan it back in and, and have it archived automatically. The barcode is just a nice, reliable way to do it, but really what Zetadocs is reading is a string of characters and linking it to the appropriate place. So no question that that can be done. It's going to depend on your specifics as to how we make it happen. But um, just like with, if you're generating a shipping document from NAV, you could pop the, the barcode right on there. Now, if it's an invoice coming in from a vendor, you know, you're not likely to get them to include a barcode or, or the information that you need on there reliably, but maybe you can. And, and it's certainly open for discussion, and it's something that can be done. Okay, our next question is, is there functionality to scan information off of hard documents to auto-add to NAV? So that what you're referring to there is automatic data entry. And, and no, there, there's not that functionality in Zetadocs. We, we evaluated adding that, and it's not going to be in the roadmap for Zetadocs. We, there just wasn't enough of a, a requirement for it. Um, typically, that type of... of of automatic data entry is done in, an, in an, an organization that's got a very large number of inbound invoices, you know, hundreds and hundreds a day maybe, and then a relatively small number of, of vendors, and you can automatically pull data off the invoice and populate NAV transactions. The reality of that is that um, th there's really a large number that, 
that's required to meet the return um, for the customer on that because they still have to be monitored to some degree since you know the automatic data providers will, will tell you they'll do about 80 percent of them so unless there's uh, there's a huge amount the, the, the enormous cost of a system like that typically is not justifiable in the NAV market which is why we decided not to add it if it's something it, that in particular works for your organization um, then there are other options out there that could sit alongside Zetadox and, and do that part of it for you. Okay, next question. Are we able to attach QA production records to production orders? No question, yes. So any type of NAV record uh, that has a record ID, like a production order, you can attach any type of file that you want to it, so certainly. Great. This one back to the barcodes. Do barcodes have to go onto each page of a document? No, they do not. And that's a that's a commonly asked question. So, two things to understand about the barcodes. Number one, um, they do not have to go on each page. What you would, you're going to have invoices of varying lengths: three page, five page, one page. Just put the barcode on the first page of each document, and then when you put them all in a stack and scan them in, they log will automatically split them up as it sees each barcode. Uh, so no need to put barcodes on, on each page. The other part of that is it's, it, the bar, it doesn't matter where the barcode goes on the document. Some solutions use the zonal recognition where it's going to look in one place. Zetadox will scan the entire document and, and actually search for a character string that, will, that it will use to link the document back to NAB. So, uh, there's there's no need to worry about where the barcode goes or, or put a doc or put a barcode on every page. Good question. Next question: How do we get pricing for ZetaDocs? Pricing is going to come from ABC Computers. So you know we're we're glad to have a conversation about um, you know your particular business requirements, what modules may fit, what implementation time might be needed for the base installation and any customizations. And then ABC, uh, they'll provide a, a comprehensive quote for services and, and licensing for you. Well, Ryan, that is the end of the questions I have received. Okay. Um, looks like we hit an hour on the nose just about. Um, so thanks everybody for taking time to, to learn about Zetadox today. You've got my contact information right there. Don't hesitate to drop me a line directly. Um, you know, we're, we're partners with ABC Computers. We'll, we'll, we'll work together to, uh, to get you anything that you need to get any questions answered uh, to Ryan, get the system I proposed do... properly. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I do have one more question that just came in. Yeah, um, sure. Where's the data stored? Good question. Uh, so there are two options for where to store the files. Number one, we do not store them as blobs to the NAV database. We had a lot of feedback that that can, over time, degrade performance in NAV itself, which is obviously not something you want out of an add-on. So we, uh, we have the option to use either SharePoint. That could be any version of SharePoint 2010 or 2013 including free SharePoint Foundation. Uh, SharePoint Online through Office 365 is a great option for companies that don't want to manage a SharePoint site, very inexpensive, uh, and, and gives access to your documentation anywhere. That whole move to the cloud, so to speak, um, SharePoint Online is a great option. But if you don't have SharePoint or, and you don't want to download SharePoint Foundation, uh, which is no cost, or you don't want to use SharePoint Online, you can store your documents to a network file folder on your somewhere on your network. So SharePoint's not a requirement, but it, it would be one of two places, SharePoint or the file folder. Okay, great. I just wanted to let everybody know that uh, if there are any final questions, go ahead and call them out. That is the end of the list I've got right now. That looks like everything we've got, Ryan.
Great, Abby. Well, hey, thank you very much for having, having me on. Thanks, thanks to ABC Computers, and thanks, everyone, for joining. Feel free to reach out with any questions. Thank you, Ryan. And just to remind everybody, the recording of this webinar will be on the ABC Computers website later in the afternoon. Thanks, all. Have a good day.